Uh, today we're going to do something a little bit different. So I've just parked up here now and I'm going to ride the trails all the way up to the mountains. I usually park the truck up in the mountains, but if I fancy an extra long ride, I usually park here. Uh, so what I'm going to do today is I'm going to do a raw video to show you where I go. The trails are absolutely beautiful. There's some bits you can blast. Um, nice wet sections through some rivers. When you get up into the hills, it's a lot of fun. But this is actually a lot of fun itself, just r ripping the trails. I'm going to keep this footage completely raw. There's some gates that I've got to open along the way, so they're really the only bits I'm going to cut out. Uh, so basically, sit down, get yourself a cup of tea or a nice beer, a few snacks, and come join me on my ride. Let's see how this 450 does today. I got a full tank of gas. <laughs> Opening gates by yourself is never fun. This is why I'm going to cut these bits out. So this is the first part of the trail. It's actually really nice. We've got some beautiful scenery. We have to ride through this valley here. I have to be a little bit careful, there's some cyclists and walkers like to go on this area. So it's a two-way traffic, so we'll see. There's some walkers up ahead there, and a lot of sheep. That's the problem with Wales, a lot, a lot of sheep. Which means a lot of sheep shit. I take a nice and easy past these. Gotta be respectful around here, you know? Everyone knows everyone. <laughs> it's so nice to have the power on this bike. Like I said, I would, you know, flat out, but when you're by yourself and you're going miles into the middle of nowhere, you got to be a little bit careful. Some bumpy stuff. Ah, oh, take it nice and easy. Oh, is he going to open the gate for me? Oh, no way. <laughs> Thank you, fella. Thank you. Have a good ride. Very nice. Well, they bought some snacks. I didn't bring any food. I didn't even bring a drink, actually. But look at this. Look how nice this is. It's a lovely trail. So basically, what you guys can do is, if you ever ride this area, you can use this video for reference, uh, where you are, where to go. I'm going to take you up into the hills and show you the different kind of trails, where they are. Handles so nice. You don't want to go off the edge up here. Funny story actually, when I used to have my Honda 450R race quad, I came plowing it up here with my friends. And this little uh, corner here, my front axle snapped. And I nearly went off the side. Right there. That was a crazy day. I don't know if you guys uh, like the raw kind of stuff. When I'm on YouTube, I quite like watching the raw stuff. Uh, when I'm with the boys, you know, I cut it down a bit to save you from all the stopping and chatting and all that kind of stuff. I'm trying a different angle today, guys. I'm trying super view on the GoPro. I usually go with a wide angle lens, but I do find it makes the footage a lot slower. Like I'm riding a 450 and sometimes you're going so fast but it just doesn't look like it. 
So I'm trying the Super View, so you have to let me know if it's any good. Oh, so when you come out of that trail, you want to take a right here. If you go left, that goes to a dead end. This will take you down towards the mountains where we ride. But we usually flip these trails, you know, they're so much fun to ride. Just gotta be careful with the mountain bikers and cyclists. Had a video before, I don't know whether, probably none of you new subscribers have seen it, but we came down here, me and my friend. Uh, he hasn't ridden much recently, actually. You would have seen him in the video for a long time, but he, he came charging up here on his 450. Came around this corner and a cyclist was coming straight across the road, plowed straight into him. Uh, luckily, both riders were okay. But uh, that was uh, yeah, a scary moment. I got a lot of backlash from that on YouTube. People debating whether or not whose fault it was. I get a lot of people debating me on YouTube, to be fair. <laughs> it is quite a good thing. It's nice having a bit of banter and a few arguments with people. Just seeing who's right. Everyone's entitled to their own opinion, don't get me wrong. All right, don't wait for me then. I'll just uh, move out the way for you, shall I? It's a lovely place, right? So we, you can go right up here and it takes you to that big hill climb I did on the pit bike. Uh, you can go over the mountains that way and then come back down to the trail where we're going to go. This is sometimes where people park here and you can go from here, but you do miss out on that beautiful trail here. So this is where the trails start getting a little bit fun. You have like little jumps. It's a bit like Supercross. You just got to be a little bit careful when you're on your own, you know. Oh no. What's going on over there, there? I'm hoping that's not police. Oh, please don't be police. Oh, they look like police. I have to take this nice and easy. Just in case I gotta flip this bike at a 180. Police do come up here sometimes because some of the sections of the trails you're not allowed to ride unless you're road legal uh, i only cross a few bits green lane trails and so on i think they're cyclists but there's been known to be undercover enduro people up here uh, oh that's okay they're mountain bikers this looks deep Thank you. Cheers, buddy. Have a good ride. I think he just asked me if I'm road legal. <laughs> this bit's an amazing bit to rip, but there's people walking, so you've got to be careful. It's quite annoying, really, because this bit you can absolutely smash. If uh, I might do it on the way back. Or we can just do it now. These are the fun sections of trails. See, I don't know if this looks fast to you, but the 450, it is fast. You can go right up that trail up there. That takes you another way. There's so many trails up here. Anyone comes here and rides, you'd love it. Whoa, whoa, that was a seat bounce. Whoa! So those of you still watching, I hope you're enjoying it and taking it all in. Especially if you're from the UK and you want somewhere to ride. Oh, we've got another gate coming up. I'll cut it here. So further on up here, we're going to get into a quarry. That's quite a cool place to mess about. Uh, these trails get worse though. Well, not worse, I mean, 
If you live in Duro, they're not bad trails, they're quite fun. Nice uh, looping right-handers and left-handers. But be careful, there's a lot of bits up here that can catch you out unless you know your way around. Like sharp rocks sticking out and stuff, so... These trails are used a lot by uh, farmers and people that get very angry <laughs> sometimes. That kicked out a bit there. You gotta be careful around here. You don't know who is who. A lot of off-roaders up here. Ali, you okay? Hey. <laughs> You boys okay? Yeah. I thought someone was injured then. <laughs> I thought that was a, thought that was a spinal board. Yeah, really short people. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is a rough bit, eh? How many of you are there? Quite a few, is there? Jeez. Planning your route here. <laughs> well, have fun. Well, that was interesting. As you can see, that's why you've got to take a cable. People coming the other way all the time. It's usually quiet on a Sunday. Quite surprised how many people there are. These bits are sharp. I'm going to be miles and miles and miles from my truck, so the last thing I want is a puncture. Please, no! But this is the way to that quarry I was on about. This side's better. Gotta pick your lines. So I know a few of you have DM'd me on Instagram. Uh, wanting to ride with me and asking me where I ride. I had a few people from Belgium recently coming over uh, last week. He messed me. Uh, I really wanted to ride with them, but it's quite tough sometimes because I do a lot of different types of riding. So some days the boys are going to the track, some days we're up here. Like we've ridden up here so many times, it does get a bit repetitive after a while. Ah, taking the wrong line there, switch. the quarry bit so you'll probably start recognizing some places around here now um, we go up that way sometimes you can go up there and have a little mess around it's like a loop some hill climbs that's a terrible hill climb I prefer coming down that but that goes all the way over the top takes you over to the big dam so now we've just gone through the gate from the quarry and this road here this will take you down to the, like a back road, uh, which takes you to the dam. This is the bit we got across, and it'll take you down. There's the mountains. That's where we're going. Up in the woods, up in the hills. That's where all the fun happens. Show you some of the cool trails over there. Right, so this is the only bit you gotta go on the road, really, so. If you're road registered, yeah, happy days. 
If you're not, well, it's at your own risk. This bike is so nice to ride, you know. I've never been on a more comfortable bike. Suspension is so nice. It's just a really good all-round bike. I used to praise the CRF 250R that I had uh, because it was like as an all-round bike. I voted it myself as the best all-round four-stroke dirt bike. I mean, that was before I bought the daddy version of the 450. Now I feel like this is the best four-stroke, depending on what kind of riding you want to do, you know. But as an everyday, every kind of ride bike, oh yeah, I forgot, right, take a right down here. And then this will take you, we're gonna go up through those woods and then I'll take you on an old mining trail. But yeah, as an all-round bike, this bike is just amazing. I love it. Each to their own, but I love it. Seems to have dried up a lot than they used to be. Gotta go through some rivers. Oh, I have to pick the deepest bit, didn't I? Right, this is like a technical bit coming up. It's like a bit of a cliff face, very slippery rocks. And stay as far right as you can. Because you don't want to slip down. Well, that's, that's fine. But yeah. I don't know what it looks like on camera, but it's really, really stressful. Oh. oh yeah, we had a lot of wind last night. So hopefully there's no one coming the other way. They can hear me coming, surely. Shit! <laughs> Fuck! Okay, that's not good. That was a scary moment. You need to be careful, I didn't realize there's branches around this side. That could really hurt you. If that comes out of nowhere like it did at a bad time, it could have been right around the corner. Lucky for me it wasn't. It was okay. Nearly there, boys and girls. So we're gonna pull a little wheelie. Another trail up there goes to the woods of death. I'm probably never going to do that again because I was stuck in there for a very long time. I come down this nice, this is a little shortcut here to take over to the mining trail and the big hill climbs, the Twin Peaks is what we call it. Um, it looked absolutely terrible on GoPro, but that thing is a monster. Ah, I see some fresh tracks here. Some of the boys could be out already. Oh yeah, they've been out. Been in the woods. Might see some on the trails. Hopefully, oh, you want to take a right here and you come to this bit. You can get you by road if you want. Um, but here's the old mine, and then there's an old miner's trail, which is quite a good little loop. Uh, so I'll take you up there now. Cut up a lot since I was last year. Wee! Cross rut. Wee! Oh, I'm getting so wet. I was trying to stay dry today. But you can't help it, can you? It's a lot of loose shale. It's quite hard, some of this. Technical, hard on the arms. But I find this so much easier on my body, weirdly, than motocross. Motocross, I get tired after like two laps. You want to be careful coming over this brow because it's a big drop. 
I got caught out here before, straight over, over the handlebars and down. One of my first times ever out here. I remember a comment before someone told me grip your knees on the tank to keep it straight and it made such a big difference to my riding style. Gripping your knees on the tank is huge when it comes to enduro. It changed my riding completely. I feel so much more comfortable now. Just turning, everything. Right. And we're here. So. You can go that way, that way, there's actually a left you can take up that way. You can go back down that way and it'll take you over to the Twin Peaks. So this is kind of like the raw video of to, just to get here. I posted a video the other day of uh, me driving to get here and now this is it. Uh, just completely enduro, down the trails, awesome trails, live in a beautiful place. But like I say, if you're new to the channel and this is the first video you're watching, Hit the subscribe button, give this video a like if you like it. Uh, let me know if you like this raw content, I can mix a few in. I uh, quite enjoyed it riding by myself, but thanks for watching guys, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.